So right now in the Call of Duty Mobile meta, we've got the Type 25 and the M13 as two top ARs. And a lot of people have been debating which one is the better one. Personally, I've been using the Type 25 as my go-to tryhard weapon since the start of the season, but I figured today we'd go ahead and switch things up. We are on the phone today, so let's go ahead and switch our meta weapons up and try out the M13 a lot. And you know what? Just because we're going on the next level of switching things up, we have the Mythic. I've been using that pretty much exclusively. Let's go ahead and try the base core version of the M13. I know this might sound like all boohoo, but I've been using the Mythic ever since the M13 came out. So whenever I actually like pick up or try out the base core M13, I just, I just think it's so cool seeing its iron sights. And uh, I know that might sound kind of weird, but it's just like it's different to me. It's unique. It's new. So it's something that I just thought would be a fun idea. And I don't really have any camo, so we threw this on. But this is the build that we're going to be rocking. I went ahead and tried again. Just I mean, we're going all out and trying new things, new attachments. This is going to be a damage at range build plus 80 percent so that should jump up our range time to kill a significant amount and i've gone on the training base and used this and the recoil doesn't really seem too bad the mobility is still pretty decent so should be a whole lot of fun now before we do hop into today's ranked matches and hopefully dominate here with m13 i want to go ahead and give a huge shout out to xperia for partnering with the channel on today's video and quickly let me go over a little bit about the device since that is what we're going to be playing on here today so at this point, you guys know I've gone over pretty much all of the game enhancer features on multiple of my different Xperia videos. So for today, I just figured I'd go ahead and reiterate on some of my personal favorites. Starting off with a competitive set mode. And the reason why I enable this every single time I play is because it basically just enables everything on the focus settings. And I just feel like this is a necessity whenever you play because you're not going to have any distractions. It releases RAM, which ups performance, hides notifications, which is super nice for distractions, locks the navigation bar, which I find super helpful because if I don't have it locked a lot of times I'll end up like minimizing my app and it's just a pain in the butt and then most importantly probably is the adaptive brightness and it turns that off which means you can just max your brightness all the way out and actually focus on the game and not worry about it constantly going back and forth depending on like if your fingers in front of the sensor so I love that of course next I talk about a lot the HS power control essentially what this does is it takes the power if your device is plugged in and instead of directly charging your battery, it directly powers the device. And the reason why this is actually important is because it prevents the device from overheating. I just find it super helpful. I mean, it does pretty much everything it says here. It limits performance reduction, battery degradation, caused by overheating, all that. And then the final feature that is just like a must anytime I hop on the device is going to be the record feature. And the reason why I like to use this instead of actually plugging it into my PC is because with all devices, whenever you plug them to an adapter, they're going to actually cap the Hertz at 60. And since it has the capability of recording 1080 60p anyway, it's not like I lose any quality for doing that. At the end of the day, the gameplay is at the same high quality, but now I'm like freed up to play at 120 FPS with max settings and everything, and it runs super fluent. So yeah, I just want to go over some of those features because they are go-tos every single time I hop on the device. And there's still many other ones that I didn't even mention now. You guys can learn more from my other Xperia videos or we will have a link down in the description below for you to get more information on the device. It's an absolute powerhouse and I think just a perfect example of its power is the fact that it can run COD Mobile max settings while recording in full quality which today's gameplay as you guys are going to see is actually fully recorded on the device itself so yeah it's got a lot of power behind it so again if you guys want to learn more we will have a link in the description below but with all that being said let's hop into today's games all right we got our first matchup little shoot house tdm should be easy straightforward just being players with the m13 i think we got this i've been playing a lot of br on the xperia lately haven't really done too much multiplayer so this should be a fun little like change of pace and we're on the board, baby. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yo, we actually got that kill. Dude, I was getting shot in the back, and I wasn't happy about that, but I knew I was going, like, head-on against an MX-9 player, so I just didn't want to, like, challenge them directly on. And uh, speaking of direct-on challenges, there we are. Nice little double kill. Yeah, I think I actually have a lot more skill than I'm, like, giving myself credit for. Especially because we're on, like, max uh, touch sensitivity and all that stuff. Go ahead and hit this reload. Yeah, I should have a lot more confidence in my like abilities here on phone. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my kinetic armor. We've got two players in front of us. Challenge. Nice. I wasn't sure if that player was gonna just like bum rush me with their melee. There we go. We got the orbital laser. Go ahead and pop that. Uh, we'll just throw it right up mid. Seems like we got a couple of players hanging out over here. We got one kill with it. Is there a guy back here? 
Literally just heard that guy. There we go. That's a swarm. Another orbital laser kill puts us on a 10 kill streak. Go ahead and drop a trip mine down. We got an advanced UAV. We can pop that. There's a guy like right here in the window. Beamed. Oh, I see that guy. Damn. Okay, you know what? Pop this uh, kinetic here. Got players above us. Two over in this uh, junkyard. Oh, a little hip fire kill. That's what I'm talking about. We got HP boost. Got more footsteps near. Teammate just spawned behind me, so enemies are probably still in front. Yeah. There's the one. Come on, whip out the pistol. Nice. They've got to be spawning up over here. Oh, hold up. Hey, yo. I'll take that hit fire. Dude, how did none of my teammates kill that guy? <laughs> just like thinking about it. Like that dude was one hit surrounded by two or three of my teammates. L. I know that sniper's still like lingering around over here. There he is. There we go. Nice little double kill to close things out. 50 to 24. Didn't kick butt. I'm curious on how many kills we had because we were actually stacking up for a minute. Got MVP. Yeah, let's see if we hit over 20 here. 24 kill game. No from Xperia. Not too shabby, huh? All right, running it back. We got another TDM here. This time around on firing range. And I went ahead and swapped out my streaks from the last game. And we're going to be running some like lower, more fun streaks this time. So I've got the orbital laser again. Then we have the Hawk X and the Shock RC. I just figured that'd be a fun, like, random combo of things. Like, I haven't used the Hawk X in forever. Wait a second. I don't know how I never noticed this before. Look at the way this dude grips the gun. How the hell? <laughs> Yo, he's got, like, a Lego hand, bro. The thing connects perfectly to the gun. I got a player just running straight into the trailer over here. Oh, he, like, ran completely forward. Yeah, yeah. Ah, can't get that other player too far. Okay. Ow. I don't know where I was getting shot from. Somewhere mid. Probably in the trailer. And he might actually be like lingering back around looking for me here. Hmm. Oh yeah. Nice. Spawns might be actually flipping here to the stalls. Got footsteps behind me. If they push in my trip, might probably get some. Yeah. Okay, shock RC. I got another one in front. That's a freebie. We still have our kinetic armor saved. Which I'm gonna go ahead and pop now because enemies are probably gonna start pushing for me. Hawk X3, nice. Little gas grenade on me. Give me an opportunity to reload. I'm gonna toss one down myself. Oh. Nice, we got the orbital laser. Fully streaked out. Got one more player here to our right. Take that kill. Can I call in the Hawk X right here? Yeah, this should be a good spot. Oh, I got that player right next to me. No, bro. That was an L with the Hawk X. Nice. Okay, I'll take that double kill. I try to just like throw it straight down the jungle lane. That'll probably force players mid. So what I can do is actually just like jump into the tower over here. They're all going down the, the right lane, actually. There's another guy like right here. One more at barrels. Okay. He's going back around this way. Ooh. Nice, that was the Sparrow player, and we still have one more here. Ooh, got him with the jumper. There we go, nice little double kill to close things out. Hell yeah. Eh, 18 kills that round, not bad, not bad. So going into this last match, I want to go ahead and swap out the 40 round double stack mag with the 60 round, like, large extended mag. All right, final game here of the day. We got ourselves a hard point on crossfire. Should be fun. As soon as I take off the range mag too, man, we get it. Whatever, I'm ready to dominate. Go ahead and push up here. We're going to get straight to the window. And we're on the board. First blood. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Your boy was whiffing for a second, but able to take out both players over there. A pretty good position. Get a third. And there's another one down over here. Got more footsteps. Oh, my gosh. That guy is absolutely one hit. Yeah, yeah. There's another one in here. Let me go ahead and drop this shock RC. So we can secure that kill. Drop this trip line down. Two. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna throw a gas grenade. Um, I do have my ooh. My kinetic I can go ahead and pop. Okay. More footsteps. I'm like surrounded right now. Oh my gosh. We're actually snapping right now, I'm surprised. 
Thank you. Got shock RC. I gotta avoid that orbital laser. I'm not trying to get beamed by it. And take out that player. 60 round mag actually fits me, I think, pretty well. Just because I spray so much with this thing. Take multiple fights. See that player way back there, but yeah, enemy spawns are going to be close. Yeah, I heard that player up top. Go ahead and pop this predator missile. I see enemies are starting to rotate a little bit. Pick that one. That's showing that we have another one hanging out over here. Am I getting pushed? That guy might have been shooting at me. I'm not entirely too sure. I'm just going to keep running and rotating here. Oh, yeah, he's coming up. Nice. Oh, we got a player with an Annihilator. Dude, he's just busting everybody down right now. Holy. Is that Annihilator gone? I think so. I mean, the players did at least. Okay, yeah, we totally just took an L on that entire hill. Let's see about rotating around. Oh, no, I saw him. I just don't want to overextend that peak. Especially with players coming around over here right now. Enemies are making a fat comeback right now. I'm not happy about this. Can we break this hill? Enemies are all spawning out. Just gotta get this guy off the hill. Nice. Okay, cool. Can anchor for like 10 seconds and it's gonna be a tied game going into the next rotation. Drop the shock RC real fast. Is the guy pushing? Nice. Okay, I got the pred. Go ahead and pop this. I can get the orbital laser if I get two kills. I'll have to take the one. Do it myself here with the gun. Spotted. There we go. We got the orbital laser. Okay. Let me go ahead and lay that down just like right there on the hill because it apparently kills through buildings. Ooh. Little cross map kill. Okay. And we're on the rotation. Getting killed with the trip mine too. I don't know what's happening, but uh, let me go ahead and drop the shock RC. We got the next rotation, so whatever. I mean, if as long as I don't like lose any of my major fights here, I should be chilling. I got the kinetic armor again. Yeah, yeah, I should be good. Plus, I get a predator missile for three points. Nice, I got a predator missile. Go ahead and pop this. All players are pushing, pushing. Shoot, we got three on a hill. One. Nice, okay. And we had an orbital laser too on deck just in case. Clutching that up, though. That game actually ended up being pretty close. Hey, we hit 30 kills. Let's go. All right, everybody. That is going to go ahead and do it here for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. As far as my final thoughts on the M13 versus Type 25, I think I'm going to go with the Type 25. It just feels significantly more consistent when I use it. And I've gotten to the point where the recoil control, I just have it down. So I feel pretty confident in all situations where I would say the M13 shines over the Type 25 at longer ranges if you're, like, good with it. But I just feel like confident enough with the Type 25 that I can take those fights at all different situations. Plus, I typically close distance on fights anyway, so most of mine are within a time to kill where the Type 25 is better. But honestly, they're both still really good ARs, and it just depends on your personal playing style. I personally prefer the Type 25. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys all think. That's going to go ahead and do it here for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next one.